Welcome to a short TI-83 Plus tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a simple linear interpolation program using a list of numbers. There are several YouTube videos on programming the TI to do interpolation using prompts for inputs, but using a list is cleaner. The list method also allows you to correct any mistakes without re-entering all the numbers. Let's take a look at the linear interpolation formula. Here's a table of values. In the table, the points x1, y1, and x2, y2 are known numbers. However, we would like to estimate y when x is xk, which is between x1 and x2. If we assume linear behavior, we can estimate y at xk with this formula. Now let's program this as a function in the TI-83. Turn your calculator on. Press the program button and create a new program. Use the alpha button to choose letters for the program name and press enter. This program will use list L1 so we will be sure and put our five interpolation values in L1 later. L1 of 1, L1 of 2, and L1 of 3 will have the X values and L1 of 4 and L1 of 5 will have the Y values. Now enter, enter the computation. L1 of 4 plus L1 of 2 minus L1 of 1 divided by L1 of 3 minus L1 of 1 times L1 of 5 minus L1 of 4. This operation will return a list with one value in it. So enter ANS open parentheses 1 to extract the single number from the list. At the end of this operation, the answer is stored in ANS. Now let's use the program. Press the second function button and quit the program. Press second function and left brace to start a list. Enter your five interpolation values. I'll enter 10, 12, and 20 for my X values and 30 and 40 for my Y values. The function should return 32. Press second function and right brace to end the list. Now press STO, then second function L1, and press enter. This stores the list in L1. You can recall L1 by pressing second function L1 and then enter. Now execute the program by pressing the program button, choosing the correct program, and pressing enter a couple times. Notice the number is stored as the ANS value and may be accessed using the second function ANS button. Now let's say you need to perform another interpolation with similar values. You can simply edit the list by using the second function entry button to recall previous values. Press second function entry for a few times until you find the L1 storage entry. Edit the numbers. Note, you can change from overwrite mode to insert mode by pressing second function INS. Once you have the correct numbers in the list, press enter. Now execute the interpolation program again and the new interpolation value is stored in ANS. I hope that helps get you started writing simple functions and saving time with your TI calculator. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.